Hey guys, just checking in like I said I would. Okay, now I have good news and bad news. Mm, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news first? Any takers? Um, okay, well, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is I might be getting laid off this Friday. I don't get it. Who wants to lay me off? I mean, who doesn't want to have me around, you know? I don't know. There's something wrong with them. But yeah. <sighs> I might be getting laid off this Friday. I don't know any news about it. I haven't heard it, but I have a little bit of a hunch. And with me with no job, you know what that means? I don't have any insurance. So I'm going to have to pay for my medication out of my pocket. And that might amount to about $400 a month. Not looking forward to that. The good news is, um, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not looking as dead as I did in my last video. And if I do get laid off, um, then that means I have more time to make videos. You'll have me forever and ever till death do we part. Let's talk about last week. Um, I didn't really mention a lot what was going on with me, but I really wasn't feeling that well, I can tell you that. Uh, I did see some blood, it wasn't a lot, but when it did come out, it was like Monty Python blood. It was like, it was like, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it to that. Oh, what was that movie? Um, the Holy Grail? Uh, maybe that's a little bit dramatic, but it was definitely weird. Other than that, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem very serious, so I'm j I don't think I'm going to go see the doctor. Probably not very smart, but, uh, I'm, there's practically, like, no blood right now, so I just have to cross my fingers that everything's going to go fine. I am still really stressing about not going to have a job because it really sucks. I mean, I like shopping and I like, uh, you know, not having to worry about paying too much for medication and stuff. Um, I don't like my job, but maybe this might be the push to actually do stuff that I want to do, um, because I wanted to get a jump on my art, and I haven't really been focusing, I've just kind of got lost, um, just kind of with the daily grind of getting up every morning, going to work, and then going home, probably watching some TV, um, video games maybe, and then going to bed, and then the same thing the next day, and then the next day, and then sooner or later a week passes, then a month, then two months, then six months, I'm still at the crappy job that I didn't like. So maybe this might be a good thing, I, I don't know, I just have to not get sick. I wanted to mention it before I forget, it's called... Do you see that? The Tao of Pooh. It's an oldie but a goodie. And... This book is weird. It, like, knows what I'm thinking or knows my situation right now, like, as I'm reading it. I would open it up and the page that I open it to is just, like, thinking exactly what I was wondering about. Um, okay, I'll let you know what I mean. Where is this page? My god. Uh, hmm. Over here it says, One disease, long life. No disease, short life. In other words, those who know what's wrong with them and take care of themselves accordingly will tend to live a lot longer than those who consider themselves perfectly healthy and neglect their weaknesses. So in that sense, at least, a weakness of some sort can give you a big favor. And then you'll find that in many cases, your limitations can be your strengths. Doesn't that say a lot about ulcerative colitis? I mean, like, you're really held back through a lot of things, but you kind of have to work around it uh, to get through everything. So I just thought that was pretty profound. I was reading that today and I was like, whoa! Oh my god, Pooh! You're a genius. Ah, uh, this cute little bear knows it all. Okay, I'm really going now. Oh, the strange thing is I was, I logged into my YouTube account and I found that I had like over 100 subscribers and I'm like, what the heck? This is weird. I, I don't know what I think about that. I didn't realize there were that many people watching me, so... I, I don't know. <laughs> Where did all these people come from? It's weird. 
Uh, that was totally unexpected. You know, I do get a lot of questions, and I think it's my turn to ask you a question. I am curious, though, because I am wondering about this whole job situation thing. Um, you know that I'm a graphic designer, and I'm curious to know what kinds of jobs do you have, or if you don't have a job, what do you do about it? Are you actively looking for a job, or are you too sick um, to be employed right now, or what is it that you do to pass the time? Yeah, so just leave a comment or a video reply. I'm, I'm really interested to see how everyone else is uh, doing with all that stuff. Okay, that's all for now. I guess I'll check back next week or something. Bye!